Hey, good day, everybody, and welcome back for another video of Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. Yeah. All right, now, anyway, so what I've got here is I've just got a multiplexer. Um, I'm on a server. I'm actually on Steam's Redstone World server. It's a pretty awesome server. There's heaps of stuff to look at and do, and check out, and see how everything works. But yeah, anyways, what I've done here is I've built a small, simple multiplexer here and a demultiplexer just over there okay and honestly I didn't know what the name of this was here but you actually read this sign look here um, so yeah basically I didn't create that I have no idea what this was called until one of the mods could fucking tell me um, yeah anyway so there's many many different ways you can build multiplexes but this is just the way I came up with it's basically just a push button start I've got a, a connection stabilizer like a redstone stabilizer so what this does is this is actually shortening the length that the redstone is pulsed to all of these timers because if you look the redstone button pulses for longer than what this does so basically the way it's set up this needs a shorter pulse than the buttons pulse okay so what will happen is first a signal is pushed along here past all of this and a signal is going straight out to there before anything else and I'll tell you why soon and then a, sing a signal is being pulsed through here through these delayed timers and then into all of these delayed timers and if you can see obviously this piston will be activated first then this one then this one then this one which is what's creating the time it pulses uh, which makes this whole thing work okay so this is bit one bit two bit three bit four all right and we're just using torches down in here to determine which is which which one's going to be you know active or not. So yeah, basically you push a button start it, the signal gets sent straight out, straight up. Alright, and now pistons go off and send the time pulses over to the demultiplexer, which is just over here. Using a one one redstone cable to send the output into the input of this. Alright now just before I said when as soon as we press the button it sends one signal off here before anything okay now what that what that first that very first signal does is it basically opens up this receiver okay so the pulse will come into here it'll pass through this block and it'll start the timer here so basically this is the timers um, so a redstone, the very first redstone signal will pass through there and activate the timers and like a split second after that the redstone passes through here and into this little setup here which is like a, a half pulse tick I don't know what to call it and what it does is it sort of makes that piston glitch where sticky pistons will push a, a block away and it won't pull it back until another pulse is sent through and it will pull it pull it back so basically I'll show you what it's doing so it sends that really short pulse and it the sticky pistons push the block away okay and what what needs to happen is it needs to push the block from here to here so that the pulses are no longer being sent to the timer the pulses are now being sent to these pistons here and also it needs to push this block away so that all of the other timed pulses aren't being sent back through to this little setup here because otherwise it's going to play around with this block here and it's going to screw shit up so it also push it pushes that away and once the time is finished, which this would be the final here, it 
sends another redstone signal back into there which would reset it back to normal state okay and yeah basically you're getting the timed pulses are coming through along with this timer which was set off we have pistons here and this is where this is where the demultiplexing happens so basically whichever bit was selected over here like for example these bits here this is bit 4 this is bit 2 whatnot. so bit 2 and bit two 4 are active when bit 2 when the timer strikes the bit 2 relay or whatever you want to call this repeater here it's gonna put the, the pistons also going to be pushed down at the same time and also when when redstone hits here and activates this the pistons are going to push down as well so it's sort of uh, this is not that hard to build really I mean it's just a matter of getting all of the timings correct because you can't just slap the repeaters and and whatnot everywhere and just hope that's going to work you know you've got to get the correct timing on all of the on all of the repeaters so like you got these delays you get all of them delays set to full length and all of these delays you have to be set at the correct timing otherwise you're not going to get the correct output from here okay so yeah basically that's that's a simple little multiplexer there if I guess if you want a video on how to make it I can do that as well but yeah alright that's a multiplexer and demultiplexer with an output. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.